Hey guys, this is Reggie with A-Team Appliance. And today we're going to go over how to know when your thermistor is bad. Typically, your uh, dryer will cut off prematurely, um, but in most cases, it's for front loader, high efficiency dryers, uh, the thermistor will, uh, you'll get a code. Um, typically, the code is, uh, some dryers, like, like Samsung, the code is T-O, uh, like a lowercase T and as in an O, T-O code, that's usually a thermistor code. Um, so that means your thermistor is bad. Now your thermistor isn't easily as readable as most fuses. Most fuses, you just go and you test continuity and the continent, you know, it'll beep, you know, if you just circuit, you pass through. Uh, the res uh, thermistor has a different type of resistance and it's a little different looking fuse. So let's check it. So this is your thermistor here, right? And excuse the sound of my garbage truck in the background. <laughs> And a lot of thermistors, now when you, you measure them, you do want to unplug it, right? And set your, your meter, right? You can do 2,000 ohms, you can do 20,000 ohms, whatever. Uh, and so let's go ahead and want to hand the bandit here with garbage truck noise in the background. You gotta love it. And so we're doing this. Oops, sorry. Now you see the reading? It's about 12. Now at room temperature, right? It should be right around 12 or lower. Uh, if you have a bad thermistor reading 16, usually that's a sign that the thermistor is bad. Um, so if you're reading 12, under 12, that's usually uh, 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 normal. If it's like a one, then that's actually bad, but it should be around 12. If you look in your technicians, for technicians, if, if you look at text, it'll tell you the exact resistance amount in the thermistor should be. Uh, most are about 12. Um, uh, if yours is reading like 16, uh, I had a repair the other day that was 16 and the thermistor was bad. Sorry, the noise. Um, so if you, uh, but do check your text sheet because you never know, you might have one that that's the normal reading. But uh, typically those are the readings of a bad thermistor. Uh, real easy, just, you know, let me show you again. Obviously, access is usually the issue. You got to tear the whole thing apart just to get to it. Uh, sometimes you have a panel up front, and you can easily get to it uh, if you have the right type of tools or wrench. Uh, typically, everything in, a, in appliances are a quarter-inch drivers. And here you go. You just take these two screws off, and it comes right out. Uh, you do have some things on here to make sure the readings, but I just didn't know in general. I usually look at 12. Um, I just, you know, 12 is usually the, the, the marker for me on my voltmeter. So, yep, that's how you change your thermistor. So, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Uh, and again, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Helps algorithm, uh, helps get the word out there. Um, I have, uh, I've got years worth of videos on my channel. <laughs> Um, so on um, flipping appliances, repairing appliances, doing maintenance and appliances, and also recommended products, right? So, such as earth breeze, uh, laundry detergent sheets. Um, it's an awesome alternative now. Uh, the, the, the link is in the, in the description of this video. And, uh, this is alternative to like powder, which I, I, I view as a technician as the worst thing you can use in your washer, a uh, liquid, which is the common, most commonly used type of, uh, soap for your, uh, to get your clothes clean. Um, but too much of it or too little of it you know you got to measure and a lot of times it gets messy if it spills uh it, it produces bacteria uh, so there's an alternative called earth breeze laundry sheets uh the description is uh the link is in the description uh very e economic cheaper than using liquid or powder detergent uh and also it's easy just it's a sheet just like you use your dryer sheets it's, it's a sheet for laundry detergent throw it right in your washer so anyway <laughs> Check the description for that. If you have any questions, feel free to check the link below. And this is Reggie with A-Team Appliance.